Welcome to another exciting trade of the day here at Trader TV Live. Uh, look, the meme stocks, the squeeze stocks, whatever you want to talk about have been moving. A new one on the entrant list, uh, we have Geo Group Incorporated, just over 30% short interest and uh, moving today, as you can see. You're going to walk how we went through a trade while live in the morning, and it was a short series of short side trades. First things first. You have to be very, very careful if you have an explosive upward move as a day trader and it is a highly uh, short, shorted name, there is that explosive upside potential. So one of the things I look for in a setup, and you know about this in the live show if you watch it, is I want that halt. Why do hot stocks halt to the upside for volatility reasons? Because it moves too far, too fast, you want better price discovery, you want more controlled action, that's what the halt provides you. So getting into a trade after the halt, where there's a little bit more control and some defined levels we can play off of. That's my cup of tea, guys. So you do have a breakout right here at 880, sort of 888, 90, corresponding with some pre-market levels. Once you get that halt up here and it halts at like 1022, I'm now formulating a bit of a plan. You guys know if you watch the show, I like to see it reopen, fail to hold above that level, and then I'm shorting off of either the previous high or the halt price, whichever one uh, looks to be the better level for me. In this particular case, I actually did set my stop just above that halt price. It never broke, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. We're getting in multiple times. I did have to chase it a little bit after it broke 10. Ideally, I would have liked the bulk of the shares about 10, 10. My average price ended up being 10 even. It comes down in, and usually I'm gonna take profit out of VWAP. That's just one of the ways I like to do it here. It's a structured trade when I get it off the reopen. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm done, as you can see here, but that first entry point, I want that first snap back down. It then pops back up. Here's the key. If I'm going to get back into the short again, which I do, it's not going to be off that same 1020 with a 10 area. It clearly has made a bounce. You're talking about higher lows. It is still a highly shorted name, and it is very dangerous, so you still want to have that out, and you also want a better price. So I do short up at the top here. It breaks that 50 level, so I take the pain, I get out. I actually accidentally got into a small long position and paid the spread to get out of it. If you get into a position that you don't want, Things are happening fast, you're trading multiple stocks, maybe you do a bit of a mass mistake there, maybe you have two stops instead of one. If this happens to you and you didn't want the trade, do not pray and hope, get out. I take that hit, remain up on the stock, and at that point, I go into patience mode. Next level up is simply an $11 even. There was nothing on the daily chart that told me this was gonna be a, a significant level. All I was looking for was failure. Failure off of that high, and I'm not trying to sit in front of it. I want to join the selling as it comes in off of the level that I like. So we jam back in at that 1035, 1040 area where it was holding between the halt price and that, and that 1050 top that I like. So we're back into it. We hold this one for the wipeout short. And then from there, it turns into a bit of a different trade. This is now pure breakdown, post breakdown trading off of VWAP, so we take it a couple times, only able to get one solid out there, mostly small scalp trading, you can see it break back above, and then I get out for a small hit. So it's mostly flat after that. The big trades are after the reopen on that halt, the other one is after the failure off of 11 even. You have to have a defined set of circumstances you want for those entries. You have to have a stop, in my personal opinion. I don't believe in averaging into the short as far as it's going to go, thinking, yeah, it's got to come back down because it's just a squeeze play. So just keep averaging into the short. Maybe it works for you, fine. But when you lose, you lose everything. And that's not the way I'm ever looking to trade here, guys. You guys know that from the live show. I hope this one was informative. Big time mover here, Geo on the day. Happy to have this trade of the day for you. Always tune into the live show, of course, to learn a little bit more. And uh, as always, good luck in your trading from Fair TV Live.